In this video, we will be discussing the various button icons on the touch screen of the KR1. At the upper left of the screen is a patient ID icon. By clicking on this, you can manually enter identification for the patient. Otherwise, the device will auto-generate a number. Near the upper left and upper right corners are the R and L icons, indicating which eye is being tested. The chin rest icons control the height of the patient's chin rest. The position reset icon moves the measurement head to its default position to be ready for the next patient or to shut down the device. The measurement mode icon determines the amount of information that will be acquired during the measurement. Tapping this icon will switch the setting from RK to keratometry only, to refraction only, and then back to RK. By leaving the setting on RK, the device will acquire both autorefraction and keratometry values. The cataract mode icon can be used to increase the likelihood of acquiring refraction data through a cataract or through other media opacities. The fixation target illumination icon can be used to adjust the brightness of the image that the patient focuses on during the testing. The fog icon controls when the patient's vision is fogged prior to acquiring autorefraction data. Fogging blurs the patient's vision for a moment to relax accommodation and to help prevent the autorefraction from being over minus. The icon can be set to X1 so that fogging occurs just before the first autorefraction measurement on an eye or it can be set to the multiple fogs image so that fogging occurs before every auto measurement on an eye. The image icon will provide a photo of the eye that was acquired during the testing. The printer icon prints the information that was just acquired on the patient's eyes. The corneal diameter icon provides an image of the eye and adjustable caliper tool to measure the diameter of the cornea from limbus to limbus. The eraser icon deletes all of the data that was acquired on the previous patient. The alignment icon allows the operator to switch between automatic and manual modes. In manual mode, the operator will need to tap the pupil to center it and then manually focus the eye. The forward and back buttons move the device closer to or further from the patient in order to focus the eye once the pupil has been centered. The capture icon begins data capture when in manual mode once the eye has been centered and aligned. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to topconhealthcare.com.